when you enjoy what you have on, it produces more endorphins. And then it's going to set you up for success for the rest of the day. It's going to put you in a better mood. If you are putting on a bathing suit that you freaking hate and you have labeled it as your fat bathing suit, you know, or tank kini or whatever, the moment you put it on, you're carrying that energy with you. everyone. If you're looking to be inspired, motivated, educated, and entertained, you have come to the right place. Welcome to the Bomb Mom Podcast, the podcast where we explore your fitness, life mindsets, and actions that help you become unstoppable. You're worth it, and it's time to finally make changes in your life that will last you the rest of your life. Hey everyone, welcome to the Bomb Mom Podcast. I am Melissa Vogel, your host. Welcome to the show if you are brand new and welcome back if you are returning. I'm excited to dive into today's episode because we're talking about vacation because it's vacation time and many of you are going on vacation, maybe just getting back. We can talk a little bit about what to do when you get back and get help you get back on track. Mostly we're gonna dive into how to go on vacation like a bomb mom, how to go on vacation and not get off track, not get into a hole even more, because I want you guys to go on vacation, travel with your family, go on trips, go camping, do all the things, and feel good while you're there. Not feel like, oh my God, why did I do that? That was a mistake. What was I thinking? Because regret is like the worst feeling in the world. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I want you guys to get the tips, the pointers, things that have worked for me and then run with them and then go prepare for your next vacation coming up here. A couple things I have to let you guys know about first is that we have our free boot camp coming back. Oh yes, we cannot wait to launch this again because the other ones have been such a huge success. So write it down, August 15th. It's the very first day I'll be doing the welcome call. And then following that is the training. So if you've never done one before, it's a free boot camp. I say it's a free five day boot camp, but really we do it for like two weeks. I put you in a group, I train you, I get your feet wet to be in a bomb mom, and it's all free. So keep an eye out. I wanted to give you a heads up that it is coming August 15th. We will probably open doors near the end of July, beginning of August. I want you guys in that group to reserve your spot because it will get too full and then I have to shut it down. I don't like doing things too big because I kind of want to get to know you guys. And if I let 200 people in there, I'm like, I can't remember that many names. So (laughs) we want you to get in, reserve your spot. And I'm going to be doing some workouts in there too. I want to get to know you guys. I want to post and do some live trainings with you. We did that in the last boot camp in April that we had. And it was so much fun and everyone really liked it. And you guys actually learned how to like work out and got so much more value from it. So that's what I want. Write it down. Okay, everyone, let's let's talk about vacation. Okay, I want all of you, like I said, to go on vacation and feel successful. I want you to go and have fun and yes, like indulge in things, of course, right? This is what vacation is all about. But what I don't want is you guys waking up every morning and feeling like crap. And then you don't want to put on the bathing suit. And then you don't have the right mindset or energy to go do the fun things with your family. I want you guys to learn how to go, stay on track, feel good, have all these tips and pointers in your pocket. So write stuff down. We'll put them in the show notes. But I want you guys to experience amazing vacations and to stay on track with your fitness goals while you're there. Okay, no more digging into a hole, no more coming back from vacation and being like, oh my God, why did I do that? Literally, we drank every single day. Like, no, I don't want that. And I'm not telling you not to drink either. I'm not telling you to not enjoy yourself, but there's balance and you can learn how to do that. So the first thing I want you to take a look at and really get an understanding for is where are you going? Now, by the time any of you have listened to this, (laughs) it's probably too late. You probably have already picked the destination. If you haven't yet, remember me telling you, pick a place where there is a gym, where maybe it's a little bit more 
fitness friendly, you know, it's going to help. It's got a good gym or it has at least something there that will help. Okay. But I realized by the time you guys listen to this, because it is July, you already have your stuff packed and you're like, we leave in two weeks. That that destination is not changing. Got it. You're going to be packing soon. Number one, pack workout shoes and workout clothes, obviously. Do not forget them. And seriously, if you have a limited like space, just pack an outfit. Just pack a sports bra, shorts, socks, leggings, tank top. Wear it a couple times if you have to. I know, like super gross, whatever. They usually have laundry there and stuff. But don't think, oh my God, I can't work out because, you know, I, I want to work out, what, five days while I'm gone? So... I can't pack five workout clothes, so I'm just not going to do anything at all. No, I don't want you to have that attitude. Pack at least just one outfit, maybe two sports bras, depends on how bad you sweat. Maybe you're going to a location that's really humid and you're just going to be sweating a ton, but usually they have like, you know, a washing machine that you can use at the hotel. But don't think I got to pack every single outfit for every single workout. No, reuse stuff. I know, like gross, whatever. Pack your tennis shoes. I always put my tennis shoes in the front zipper part of my travel, usually my carry-on. I put it in there, it saves space in the bigger pieces of luggage, but if you don't have good shoes to work out in, the chances of you going are slim to none. And you don't want to show up at the gym in your flip-flops and then risk dropping a dumbbell and having it bounce onto your toe. It's terrible. And then you're even more bummed on your vacation. So don't do that. So pack, 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 pack. Now, on top of packing your workout clothes, I want you to take a look at your wardrobe. I want you to pack outfits that you love, that you are like, I love this tank top, or I love this bra, or I I love these shirts or shorts or whatever. Why is that important to pack things that you love? And if you don't have anything that you don't love, go out and get a couple things. When you feel good in what you're wearing and you're like, oh my God, I just, I love this shirt or I love this cover up or whatever. I love this bathing suit top and how it makes my boobs look. When you enjoy what you have on, it produces more endorphins and then it's going to set you up for success for the rest of the day. It's going to put you in a better mood. If you are putting on a bathing suit that you freaking hate and you have labeled it as your fat bathing suit, you know, or tankini or whatever, the moment you put it on, you're carrying that energy with you. It's on you. It's literally strapped on you. So be aware, okay? If you don't have anything, go buy something. Buy one outfit and one bathing suit. I know you're already spending money on the vacation. I get it. Funds are limited, right? But seriously, this is going to set you up for success. And I want you to associate this vacation with excitement because, oh my God, I got new clothes to wear or I get to wear this top or whatever. I want you to associate good feelings with your vacation because then when you're on vacation and you have good feelings flowing through your body, you're more likely to show up for you in the right ways. That means making better food decisions with alcohol, showing up for your workouts, and you're just going to have a better sense of peace and calm. Because traveling stressful, right? Especially if you're doing it with kids. It can be very, very stressful. I want to take that down as much as I can. But when you feel better and you have the good feeling chemicals flowing through your body, you're going to be able to handle the stress of traveling more and being in a hotel room or being in a campground or whatever this vacation looks like. And then you're not going to fight as much with your partner. You're not going to yell at your kids as much. So who would have thought that this all starts with the outfits that you pack and packing your gym shoes. So it does matter, you guys. It it really does matter. So I want you to think about this. The other thing I want to make sure that you pack is a water bottle, like stainless steel. I wouldn't travel with glass, but like a stainless steel one is best because, you know, I'm not for plastic at all. But when you can bring your own water bottle, you're more likely to stay hydrated. There's so many benefits, so many benefits. You can stop, usually, you know, if you're at a resort or something, they have the water up front where you can like refill your own water bottle, but you're more likely to drink. It helps cut down on plastic. Did you guys know that like 30 million water bottles are tossed a month in Bali? That's nuts. That is insane. So we wanna cut back on that. So bringing your own water bottle helps save the planet. It's a lot less plastic. You're more likely to drink. You can carry it on you, you know, rinse it out every night with hot water in the sink, you know, and and have it there. But then you're not paying for it constantly too. Now, obviously, if you're traveling somewhere and you're not sure about tap water, never drink the tap water. And worst case scenario, you're getting cold water bottles. I know, out of plastic, but we're doing the best we can, right? And you're refilling your own water bottle 
that you're traveling with. So be mindful of this, pack your water bottle, stick it in the side. And then when you get to the airport too, you can refill it and you don't have to have plastic water bottle on the plane either or ask for water. Usually on the wall by drinking fountains, they have like the one you stick in and you put it under there and it refills it. So many, many wins. So pack outfits that you like, pack your workout shoes, pack your workout clothes and pack your own water bottle. Okay, so now we're there, right? Now we're on vacation and we're doing all the things. Melissa, how do I stay on track? Like, I don't wanna fall in a hole. One, focus on protein. I want you guys to really focus on your protein. This shouldn't come to a surprise to any of you, but the first thing, like let's say you're at a resort and there's a buffet and you're like, oh my God, I could eat whatever I wanted to. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. I tell my children this all the time. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. So we took a cruise a couple years ago and they had a soft serve ice cream machine. And my kids were like, oh my God, soft serve ice cream every day. And I told them like, no, you can enjoy yourself while you're here, but you're gonna pay for it. And they didn't listen. They had soft serve ice cream after breakfast, after lunch, after dinner, just because they could. And I said, just cause you could, doesn't mean you should. And by day two, they were like, oh my God, I can't have any more. Like they were miserable. So remember that. Now, when you're going to, let's say this buffet is there, start seeking out the protein. Can you get an omelet made for yourself and do egg whites only or half and half? I don't know. Or just have a regular freaking omelet. I don't know. It's still protein. And then have the veggies added to it, right? Are they organic? Probably not. Are you doing the best while you're on vacation? Absolutely. So seek out the protein. Can you get an omelet made? Have that first. What other protein options are available to you? Because when you get full on that, you are less likely to go and seek out the other foods that aren't that great. If you start off with French toast, I'm telling you, you're going to want more. You opened Pandora's box. You're shooting your blood sugar levels through the roof. You're going to eat more than you would like. And then after, you know, 20 minutes or so, you're going to start to feel like crap. Today's episode is brought to you by AG1, the daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. I literally drink it every single day. I even travel with it and I have not missed a serving since I started. I was tired of taking so many supplements and swallowing all of the pills and I needed something that supported my entire body and covered my nutritional needs every single day. And plus, I wanted better gut health. I wanted more energy and increased a stronger immune system. And I hated taking the pills and I wanted a supplement too that tasted good and that I like looked forward to trying. And you guys know as a mom, I'm always looking for quick, healthy and trustworthy solutions to help take care of my health, which is why I love my new morning routine with AG1. Now, for all you moms out there, you know how busy we can be. So if you're looking for self-care that's quick and easy and you want all of your nutritional bases covered, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free AG1 travel packets with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com forward slash bomb mom. That's drinkag1.com forward slash bomb mom. Check it out. Don't start off with the French toast or the pancakes. Now eat your protein, fill up on that. Are there any veggie options? Are there berries available? Fill up on those first, then see what you have room for and if you can have or not have. Also, we were talking about indulging and of course it's okay to indulge. You're on vacation, you're at a place or doing something that you typically don't do. I don't want you to go on vacation and completely regret it and be like, oh, you know, but I heard this podcast and Melissa said I can't do this. Like, no, that's not what this is about. Indulge, but just know your limits. Know how far are you gonna go? Like what's the bare minimum? So when you're eating your food, and I use the buffet as an example if you're traveling at a resort, but like even just say you're camping, you know, and you're at a campground with your family, seek out that protein still, have your plan in place, like what am I gonna fill up first with the protein? But then also the one scoop rule. So if you're looking at food and there's like the super sugary, like fluff, you know, fruit salad thing that you're like yum or potato salad and like all the things that you really want, one scoop. Do one, not even a scoop, just do like a spoonful. That will take you so far and it gives you the taste without 
overindulging. And that's what I do. I'm always just like, oh, I'll just take one spoonful of that, one spoonful of that. And I'm like, mm, and that's that's all I need. That's totally all I needed to get me by. And it saves me from loading up my plate. So remember the one scoop rule for sure. But again, know, know your limits. Try to pay attention before you go on the trip and know your options of food, you know, especially if you can pack it if you're camping. But then when you're there, say, okay, you know, we're here for seven days, two of the nights I'm going to drink. Know where those limits are. And I'm going to save it because I really want to drink on Thursday and on Saturday. Perfect. You had a plan in place and having a plan in place is always a way to not fail and avoid falling in the hole. Be smart about it. Also with your calories, let's, let's stick to the topic of food because that's, Let's be honest, that's the biggest thing that gets people into trouble, right? Is the food and the calories. When you are on vacation, there's nothing wrong with tracking your calories. There, I said it. Now, as I say, there's nothing wrong with tracking your calories while on vacation. Remember, what's your point? It's not to create a deficit, right? We're not on vacation and we're trying to create a caloric deficit while we're here, but it helps just give you an idea, even if it's not perfect. So, okay, I had potato salad. Enter it in, take a guess. I had a quarter of a cup. Great. Now you kind of have an idea. And then I had a vodka and soda. Okay, that was 150 calories. Great. Added that in. Oh, and then I did have a piece of pizza. But then I had my eggs. Look at your numbers just to know where you're at. You might be surprised if you're loading up on protein and you're doing a really good job and you're like, oh my God, I have a lot left. Like, I okay, there's window, there's space for you. Nothing wrong with tracking your calories. We use my fitness pal. It works fine. It's a tool. Nothing wrong with that. Also, avoid the sugar bomb drinks. Did you guys know that a daiquiri alone can have up to 500 calories in it? A margarita, we're talking 700, and it's mostly just in sugar. You just blew a lot of your money. Like if you're looking at calories as money in the bank, and you know, at the end of the day, you want to have as much money in your bank as you can, you just blew a lot. So be aware, stick more to like a vodka and soda. That's my go-to. Be picky, choose. I'm not telling you to do diet pop because that's just gonna have more sucralose in it and high fructose corn syrup and crap. That's a whole nother podcast. But, you know, people are like, oh, people always think, oh, I had Captain and a Diet Coke. (laughs) I was like, oh, you made a diet, good for you. No, (laughs) no, good try, but no. So be mindful and pay attention to where you're at throw it in the calculator. And if you're like, oh my God, that's a lot. And I had no idea. Maybe we skip it. You know, maybe, maybe we make a different choice. Nothing wrong with that either. All right. So let's go back to body physical. My number one piece of advice for you guys, keep working out while you're on vacation. I am the mom that goes on vacation and I leave my children. And I'm like, okay, you guys are going to kids club or you're going to be entertained or the older one is watching the younger ones, but I need to go get my workout in. I typically do it earlier in the day, usually morning, wake up, make them breakfast. And while they're eating, then I go because then they can do cleanup and I fit it in. Is your workout on vacation going to be perfect? Absolutely not. But is it going to be worth it? A hundred percent. Be mindful of these workouts, okay? Because you're not gonna go to the gym for two hours. I mean, if you're alone and that's what you and your partner wanna do and you have like access to this amazing gym, by all means, go for it. Because the more calories you burn in the gym, the more money you have in the bank to spend later. So you can indulge more at dinner because you burned and busted ass more in the gym. That's how I think and it has worked for me. But staying on top of these workouts is going to keep you active. It's going to keep you moving. It's going to help you feel better. It's going to help stimulate the muscles, collagen, elastin, everything in your body. And this is a really, really good thing to have happen. Going on vacation, no matter what it is, and being stagnant is like one of the worst things you can do. It's super aging to the body too, to be just like totally stagnant and then eat crap on top of it. Not what we want. So keep moving. Schedule in your workouts. I highly recommend you go early in the morning and be efficient, which means less rest time. So if your phone is a big distraction for you, put it away, wrap it up in a sweat towel, set it off to the side by your water bottle and don't touch it go to town. Now, if you're using your phone for your workouts, that's a different story. You're just going to have to have more discipline and, you know, not go onto the apps or text people while you're there because you have to be efficient. So less rest time, you're pushing, doing one set, maybe 10 reps of something, 
taking a drink, boom, you're going to another and another. Now, when you do this and you have less rest time, you can't push heavy weight. You will not have enough time for your muscles to recover. And then no one wants to get hurt, you know, on vacation. Like that's just dumb. So know that you're going to have to lessen your weight being used, which is totally fine. Remember, what's our goal? Stay on track, be active, burn some calories so I can enjoy things later. Like that's what our goal is. It's not to get ripped at the gym, you know, at freaking Camp Land. <laughs> if anyone knows who Camp Land is, shout out to me. <laughs> anyone from San Diego area is listening to this going, oh my God, she's at Camp Land. But <laughs> remember, you know, you're just doing the best you can while you're there. And it's okay if it looks different. My recommendation would be to do legs never skip legs. Why? They are the largest muscles of your body, some of them. And the more you hit them and train them, you're going to burn more calories. So if you're looking to be efficient, nothing wrong with doing some squats, some walking lunges, some deadlifts one day, and then the next day you're in there, you're doing lateral lunges, you're doing inner thigh, maybe they have a leg extension machine, you're hitting quads, and then the next day you're doing calves and you're doing a leg curl machine. I'm not saying do legs the whole time, but like look and see what options you have and hit legs because you're going to burn some calories. Also doing HIIT workouts, high intense interval training, great. So you're working and pushing really hard for like 20, 30 seconds, then you're recovering and then you're going at it and then you're recovering. Do it for 30 minutes. Boom, get in and get out. That is okay in my book for 30 minutes because you're being efficient. Like you're not getting a break and by 30 minutes you're done and you're ready to get out of there. Also yoga. I love doing yoga in different places, especially if you're somewhere where they offer it on the beach and you get to do yoga there or by the pool or they have a class you can take. Like see what options you have to do something different. Maybe they you're at a place where they actually do teach classes and you can sign up for it and it's part of it. Do it. Maybe you go off, you know, to the beach by yourself and bring your yoga mat and that's your workout for the day. There is nothing wrong with that. And you might need yoga right after traveling. If you are going somewhere far and you've been sitting in a plane for a while or driving for a while, go stretch your body. Your neck needs it, your back needs it, your core needs it, your chest needs it, everything. So yoga is an amazing tool to have and to bring with you when you're on vacation. And lastly, pay attention to your steps. If you are going to the beach and you just want to la- relax and lay there, totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But maybe get up and do a good walk of the beach with your kids. How can you guys move? Can you grab a football and play? Just think of like how much activity have I actually done today? And again, this is where like the Fitbit or the Apple Watch comes in handy because you can pay attention to your steps. You don't want to get to the end of the day and be like, oh my God, I've taken like a thousand steps and that's it. That's not very much, or I've only stood an hour. We don't want that. Being stagnant is the worst thing we can do for our body. We're not designed to sit. We're not designed to just sit and do nothing. Relaxing, taking a nap for sure, but then get up and start moving. So these are my biggest tips to give you guys. I hope you took notes, write them down on something. We'll try to put as many as we can in the show notes for you. One more tip too before I go, when you guys are getting ready to leave, it's really important to hydrate before your trip. You want to drink as much as you can leading up to the trip. That will help you keep your energy levels higher. It'll help you avoid illness and getting sick because you're constantly going to be flushing your kidneys and your liver and everything. So, you know, if you're leaving on a Friday, man, Wednesday and Thursday, you are chugging some water, you are hydrating with electrolytes, and you're keeping your system like just firing. People wait. They always wait till they're like the day of their traveling or once they get there. No, we want to hit this head on beforehand. So let me know, you guys, if you have questions or if you want to talk more about this, shoot me an email, info at melissavogelfitness.com. Follow me on Instagram. It's ITS Melissa Vogel. It's Melissa Vogel. Happy to help. I get a lot of DMs on there and just give me time if, if I haven't responded, but I will get to them. But I love helping you guys out. I love making reels on things and suggestions like, hey, can you tell me how to do this? Love making reels and content based on what you guys want, what you need. So enjoy your summer. We have so many amazing podcasts coming up. Keep listening. Make sure you go back and listen to all the episodes because I'm here to help you guys through this journey and to keep you motivated and feeling good even if you're on vacation. All right, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy until next time. 
This podcast is designed to provide accurate and authoritative information in regards to the subject matter covered. This is given with the understanding that neither the host practice of the practice or the guests are providing legal, mental health, nutritional, or other professional information. If you need a professional, you should find one.